Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're going to be ranking all the units in AP Physics 1 by difficulty. Um, I just took the course this past year, and so I'm going to give you my insight. So first off, we have Unit 1, Kinematic. So this is where you get the introduction to physics, right? So if you've never taken a phys physics course, this might be a bit of a struggle at first, but you know, after you get the hang of just motion, 2D motion, and even projectiles, you'll be fine because you realize a lot of it is just plug and chug with equations. So this one's going into the easy category. Now, unit two is the interesting dilemma because unit two used to be dynamics and forces by itself, right? So this is where you learn about Newton's laws, free body diagrams, and start getting to another level of motion. But now unit two is sort of a combination of unit two and three. Um, but unit three has sort of been split up between multiple units now. So unit two, one of the topics in here is actually circular motion, right? And that makes sense because circular motion, you talk about those free body diagrams just from a different perspective. But that definitely ups the difficulty here. And so unit two is going into the hard category. Unit three, work, energy, and power. There's just a couple basic concepts you have to utilize and the equations are pretty straightforward, right? So you have conservation of energy, and then you talk about different types of energies, like kinetic energy or gravitational energy. So this one is going to the med category, nothing to um, you know, lay off, but it's definitely not the most difficult. Same thing with unit four, linear momentum. It's sort of like the brother to work, energy, and power because it has very similar concepts, right? So conservation of linear momentum, um, also impulse, which is just the work version for energy. So here unit four is also going into the med category. Unit five, so this one actually used to be probably arguably the hardest unit in AP Physics 1, but now it's been broken up into pretty much two units, unit five and six. So torque by itself, you also deal with rotational kinematics. This one is definitely going to be in the hard category. All right, so unit six, unit six here is just talking about the angular side of energy and momentum. And so this is kind of interesting. Now the content itself, I would say is very, very difficult. It's not really heavy on the amount of coursework here, but it's just the conceptual things are very difficult to understand. So this one is going to go in the dropout category. Now, unit seven, osculations. This is sort of the rebrand for simple harmonic motion. I looked at the CED, not much changed. Um, you might do more with frequency and also involving with the equations actually for calculating like energy during those osculations, right? But this one is going to be a pretty easy unit because it's sort of the basic summary of forces and kinematics. So if you have those units down, this is going to be a free category. Um, but I'm just going to put this one in the easy one. So the last unit here is going to be fluids. Now, obviously, I didn't take the course while there was fluids. But from what I've heard, this one is definitely not a easy concept at all. Um, it does have to deal with physics and does uh, mold pretty well into the AP Physics 1 curriculum, but you have to deal with stuff like density, pressure, um, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of laws that really make this one a hard unit. So there we go. That's all the units for AP Physics 1 ranked. Now, if you want a full content review for these units, not including fluids because this one is sort of outdated, then you can check out the video on the screen now.